Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have immersive horses. For a long time now, if someone wanted to complete horse overhaul, you'd pretty much have to recommend convenient horses. Better horses used to be an option, but that stopped development a while ago. And apart from a few smaller mods, nothing really attempted to offer something on the same scale as the convenient overhaul. Well, that was true until a month ago with the release of immersive horses. This is an overhaul that aims to offer fleshed out horses with immersion in mind. Throughout the video we make some comparisons between the two big overhauls so you can see how they implement similar features in different ways. The mod comes with many features but the main point, at least in our opinion, is the new horse breeds. The mod breaks down the vanilla system that only comes with a single breed and introduces 5 new unique breeds to the game, with one stationed under each of the major city stables. As you can see, each horse comes with its own colour scheme and size, but what you can't see are the smaller differences between the breeds. Each horse actually comes with different stats, with differences ranging all the way from their health and speed, to their confidence levels, damage and carry rate. Their default stats are set so there's a decent amount of variation between the breeds, but not so much that a certain breed is vastly superior. It'll come down to what you want from a horse. If you want speed, you want the Halflinger from Markarth, but if you want a horse fit for carrying your goods, you'll want the Fell Pony from Riften. The unique vanilla horses have also had their stats overhauled to fit the new changes. Their stats have been chosen to fit their persona, while also making each one more powerful when compared to the 5 standard breeds. For example, Frost is now the fastest horse in the game and is immune to frost damage. Shadowmere is a true fighter and has the best damage of all horses. And Arvac, being undead, can now gallop extreme distances compared to the other horses, and is by far the best for long distance travelling. However, you can fully customise each breed and their stats in the mod's I, &I file, so if you feel like there's something a little off, then be sure to tweak it. Generally speaking, horses are now faster in all areas and they also come with much more stamina. In vanilla, horses can gallop short distances, but have such high stamina regen rates that you'll only have to wait a few seconds before you can gallop again. Horses are known for their stamina, so to fix that the mod gives them 6 times more stamina by default, but it also drastically decreases their regen rates. So now you'll be able to gallop much further, but your horse will need a much deserved rest after the journey. The mod also lets you trot on your horse, which is a new movement mode in between walking and cantering. While playing with the mod, trotting actually became our default way of travelling on a horse when we were in cities or villages. It's just fast enough that moving doesn't feel insanely slow, but it's slow enough that you can easily see and react to your surroundings, so you aren't constantly bumping into things like in vanilla. There's a new management system that opens up whenever you activate a horse. From here you can pretty much do anything, from viewing their stats or simply just mounting them. From here you can also rename your horse, change their behaviour, dismiss them back to their home and also set them free. By default, Immersive Horses comes with a lot of menus, so once you're comfortable with the new features, you'll definitely want to head into the mod menu. From here, you can set hotkeys for pretty much everything, from whistling for your horse to opening their inventory. You can also set defaults for activating a horse, so you can have it mount like normal instead of opening the menu. Then you can set sneaking to open the menu, inventory or any other options. The mod also adds dozens of other new mechanics to fully flesh out horses in the game. A lot of these can also be found in the convenient overhaul, but they're handled differently. For example, horse inventories are in both mods, but Convenient Horses adds a cloud system where you can have remote access from any horse, which doesn't really make sense, but it sure is convenient. Immersive Horses, on the other hand, has separate inventories for each horse, so if you store your fruit on your Exmoor pony, you won't be able to access it from any other horse. Similar differences can also be found when you look at horse armours. Immersive Horses doesn't actually add any horse armours by default, but it does add a few new saddles. To get armours, you'll need to install a second mod by the same author, which will add several craftable horse armours that you have to equip to your horse through their inventory. However, if we compare that to the convenient overhaul, you'll find that the armours aren't actually items, but instead you can instantly change your horse's armour from a drop-down list in the mod menu, which makes the first mod more immersive, and the second more convenient. Each horse in the immersive overhaul is unique. You can buy them from the stables, and you can now even fully own a horse through theft. It's not as easy as just buying it or mounting it though, and instead you'll actually have to ride with a stolen horse for 60 seconds while it gets to know you. To make things a bit tougher, the horse will also show signs of distress that will attract nearby NPCs, which might come to the horse's aid. However, if you make it through that, you'll become the new owner. All of the horses you own are added to a herd list, which can be controlled in a new herding menu. From here, you can whistle for the entire herd, have them all follow you, or dismiss them all to their home. This is especially useful for summoning your horses for your followers. However, to make your followers actually use the horses, you'll need to install the extensible follower framework too. The idea of naming your horses and then having separate inventories, stats, behaviours and more is an interesting concept. It essentially turns your horses into another type of companion. You can now buy a horse, name it, alter its behaviour and have a specific follower use that horse. 
So you can have Lydia use a cowardly Exmo pony named Chessie, and Bell around an aggressive fjord horse named Grunt. It's entirely up to you and makes for a much more interesting roleplay when compared to the convenient overhaul. With convenient horses, each horse is essentially the same and instead you customise it through the mod menu. They don't have individual stats or really anything individual about them. The convenient overhaul also comes with follower support by default, and all your followers will simply conjure up their own horses whenever you mount your own, which again is far more convenient. On top of all of that, there's still plenty of other helpful new horse mechanics that are shared between both mods, and they're pretty much handled the same way too. You can talk to NPCs while mounted, which is extremely handy in cities or villages, especially when you combine it with the new trotting feature which means handling a horse in a village is easier than ever. You can now also fast dismount by setting a hotkey in the mod menu. You can dismount to the left, right or from behind, depending on what you choose. You'll also automatically draw your weapon because the fast dismount feature is designed for jumping straight into combat. Both mods also come with auto looting features, but the convenient overhaul is a little more useful, with the ability to loot from pretty much anything, from corpses to containers and even harvesting. Immersive horses on the other hand only comes with an optional corpse looting. Both mods also come with new trampling attack when you gallop straight at enemies. The convenient overhaul uses custom physics for greater accuracy, but the immersive overhaul also makes use of a stomping attack too, which has a bit more variety. Overall, the mod adds tons of new features for horses and it might seem a little overwhelming, but we can assure you that it's all very intuitive. Once you learn how to control one horse, you essentially know how to control a herd. Make sure you set whatever hockeys you want to in the mod menu and you should be fine. The breeds offer something new and the other features are packaged together to offer a more immersive alternative to convenient horses. It's also more lightweight in terms of scripts too, which is another big plus for certain load orders. Ultimately, it'll come down to what you want. Useful convenient horses, or a slightly less useful but immersive horses. If you're interested in giving it a go, then you can find everything you need down below. And thanks for watching.